What do you think of this one? Our new parts have been completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. I recommend we could go for something like this. Good afternoon and welcome to Baku. This was the arena, if you think back to 2017, of one of the most eventful races of modern history, with controversy behind the safety car, last second overtakes, and a historic podium for Williams and for Lance Stroll. So let's find out what lies in store for us this year. It's time for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. With 20 turns and a length of 3.7 miles, Baku City Circuit in the heart of the Azerbaijan capital is a real test of a driver's endurance, patience and precision. 90 degree corners through sector one lead into a tightening uphill sprint as we start to circle around the old city. Then a 1.4 mile chase flat out through sector three towards the finish line. Now, Anthony Davidson, I wonder, might we be in for some early pit stops today from the midfield teams, all trying to put some pressure on or disrupting things for the leaders up front? If you're in the middle of the pack, you know, you've got your own race to run, I don't think they're going to be thinking about causing trouble up front. However, closer to the head of the pack, don't be surprised to see some split strategies. If you're running second and third, for example, bringing one car in for an undercut while leaving the other one out there longer can put a lot of pressure on the leader and maybe force them into an error. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Vettel, Sergio Perez and Stroll, Verstappen, Sainz, Albon and Lando Norris. Magnussen, Ricardo, Esteban Ocon, the rookie, Kvyat, Grosjean, George Russell and Pierre Gasly. Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Matsushita, and Nicholas Latifi. 
It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Safety car, safety car, no overtaking, reduce your pace. Keep your delta number positive as we form up. to stay with him, he might make a mistake, he could still regain the position. It's caution, the safety car is out, keep an eye on the Delta, we need to keep it positive to avoid a penalty. Slow down, maintain positive... Stop. Exit now. You'll be racing as you leave the pits. Go, go now. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. They're on fresh mediums. The time last lap was a 2.4.1. Hard you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. Okay, let's get ready to go racing again. The safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember, there is no overtaking until the green flags. Safety car in this lap.
laps of fuel remaining. to first place. The stewards have now enabled DRS. DRS is now online. Front is 4.7 seconds. to stay with him, he might make a mistake. We could still regain the position. to the car ahead is 5.1 seconds. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Gap to teammate behind is 5.7 seconds.
That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. It's never an easy race here in Azerbaijan. There's drama around every corner, but they've come through to take a brilliant win here today. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralized. I mean, do you pit for fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix. And they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. Well, the gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I have to give it to the rookie. They fought so hard and had incredible pace at times, so I don't think anyone else did a better job today. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position a strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next.